everybody welcome to our mass effect on insanity playthrough uh, we've skipped ahead a little bit here in the preview we've got our character already created uh, Shepard is good and ready to go we're gonna run through as a soldier I believe that is probably our best option for insanity the ability to take an extra hit is uh, pretty important in insanity because they will try to kill us very quickly identification confirmed <clears throat> All right, insanity. This is going to be very fun. I'm going to keep those subtitles on. Everybody's going to play defensively. Let's get it started. <clears throat> well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. <clears throat> I'll make the call. Hell yeah, you will. In the year 2048, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed star startling new technologies, enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. originally start this game on normal difficulty until I realized that all the trophies required range. insanity play. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Station secure for transit. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Let's hit that relay. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. <clears throat> All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting off? Maybe. Joker. Maybe not. That is report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before <clears throat> we reach the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. I think he's trying to tell you something, Joker. Alright. 
yeah, our initial run through this game, we tried it on normal and also checked to see if the male voice acting had been fixed. And it's still pretty terrible. <clears throat> I guess I kind of understand it. Um, playing through the original Resident Evil when they remade it and they replaced the voices of Barry and Jill with better dialogue. It was quite disappointing. Uh, the novelty of the bad voice acting had kind of gone along with the game and the theme, especially being it was a horror game. So I don't know, maybe they thought there was something nostalgic about the male Shepard's voice acting, but it's still pretty awful. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Are you trying to scare me, Spectre? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. <clears throat> I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. <sighs> Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. For some reason, the Turians are the only the species that I actually like. We in are an game. elite group. The rest of them are kind of rare deplorable. to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Oh, joy. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. It's all gone to hell, boys. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need...
cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. <clears throat> Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Let's do it. <clears throat> Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nyland, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. Ship perimeter secure. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. Yeah, let's keep going, buddy. Jenkins was kind of a chump anyway. Dude ran right out in the middle of enemy fire, didn't see him. I mean... Not exactly the wisest decision on a foreign planet where, you know... It's getting invaded. Oops. I believe we took a wrong turn. go up. I guess we just go through the water. Okay, I was going the right way. We do have to go up here. What was I missing? Oh no, 
I went in reverse. That's what I did. I ran past Jenkins the wrong way. Leroy Jenkins! I wonder if that's what they named him after. Run. Take him down. How do you know I'm a commander? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Let's go get him, Move boys. Out. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Oh, yeah, yeah, we know how to take cover. Thank you for stepping directly in my way. This is the dig site. <clears throat> the beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Well, let's go find out. Impaling victims instead of just... Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. 
Alright, Nihilus. Wouldn't go there if I were you, but hey. Looks like they hit what do I know? Hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. If by ambush you mean attack by husk. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Hmm. Come here, buddy. God, even those guys hit hard on insanity. Uh, that's the triangle? The triangle is my heel button. There we go. Sorry, we're gonna open that bad boy up. Let's go. Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. You're fine. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, dude definitely needs his meds. And I didn't want to have to punch him out again. Can I actually... Okay, I can get my points. Limited health regeneration. all of their skills. Oops. Let me do a Miss Williams. Yeah, we know how to use equipment. Assault rifle, we'll keep what we got. Not much to change in there quite yet. Alright, let's go. Now it can regenerate health, which is extremely useful, so we don't have to use our medi gels every three seconds. Shooting. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Mm-hmm. Tried to warn you, buddy. 
Don't trust that dude. What is this? Off in the distance. The size of it. just not an option on insanity mode whatsoever. Like, I'm just getting clobbered trying to melee those dudes. Commander, it's Nihilus. You think? A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Really? Wait, crates? don't don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. Pow pow. I'm, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? Uh, he jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes this I need guy. a nap to get through my shift. I, I feel this pain, though. Sometimes I feel like I need a nap to get through my shift to work. Can't find me. <clears throat> you survived because you're lazy? <laughs> Pretty much. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Good, because we don't want to talk about it. We need to find it. that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Uh, so you're just going to meander off in a non-safe place with hostile enemies all around? Yeah, it makes sense. Sniper rifle, anyway. Calm down, we're coming to kill you. You don't have to shoot at us.
were far away, but jeez. I think the sniper rifle is a little overpowered in this early in the game. I think I'm playing whack a mole. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Conveniently out in the open. I mean, I guess they didn't expect anybody to show up and disarm them, but hey. They seem pretty close together. To kind of blow up an entire colony. I guess they really just need to blow up the spaceport. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Them. I'm gonna disarm this. Hold them off for just a second. Laying on the ground again, dude. 
Yeah, you really need to get regeneration. I can't be dealing with you dead all the time. I'm definitely not a fan of yours. Just saying. You gotta learn to use that first aid ability of yours, my friend. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't touch it! We've been here Normandy. before. The beacon is secure. This is amazing! Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable! It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. not our best moment. We identified <clears throat> the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. Uh, he kind of knows. One of the humans may have used it. Looks like she kind of liked a little bit. She hardly looked afraid, that's for damn sure. Get up, Shepard. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like hell. Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction, nothing's really clear. Hmm, I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. What is everyone I, I have to speak to me in I'll private? I'll be in the mess if you need me. Jeez. All these damn secrets, Mr. Anderson. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'll live. I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. Not a big deal. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best. 
a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Well, we hate him too. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Yeah, the Saren has in allied scene himself is a with funky. the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. <clears throat> but it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. He's not wrong. This attack was an act of war. He, kind of he has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. What is that weird red light on the side of my face? Like, half my face is red straight down the middle. Yeah, that gets... That, people are right, they do have some goofy lighting in this I'll game. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. There, she looks normal. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Hell yeah, Kate. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served made him proud when I enlisted eventually but is that why you're here because of your family I was a regular Navy brat I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected oh that's right a coos I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet word is we're heading for the Citadel ma'am can you uh, tell me why I cannot the captain's briefing was confidential understood ma'am whatever happens we'll be ready commander Hell yeah, we will. Or we'll be dead. Sucked our homegirl Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Do you know it, Williams? All right. The 
let's get a move on, Joker. Honestly, dude's a pain in my ass. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. This... This FMV right here actually looks really good. I don't really remember what the original looked like or if it looked this good. I'll have to either break out the old game and put it in or pull up a video of what this entrance used to look like, but I'm 100% sure this looks a lot better. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. It's got both. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Appreciate it. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy L. Normandy See the lighting right there looks great. Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Those were the scenes that were touched up the most. Because that this looks really is an short. Outrage. There's no way the, the PS3 would was step pushing in that. if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds Again, like you convinced really the council red to give us an audience. Picture. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The I mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Oops. That's Seren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Oh, you're so sweet. See, her lighting looks normal. And that's why I hate politicians. Why does Shepard's lighting look so bad sometimes? She looks very red. Ding. Here we go. Out into the Nexus. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Again, very red. I don't get it. Now see, they both look kind of red in this lighting right here. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. 
Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Thanks, boss. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Gracias, Senor. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I mean, that worker just accusations. made up the name Sarah, and it Spectre happens to be his friend. friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon, then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He, he thought you well. well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. It kinda wasn't, my friend. It kinda wasn't. This meeting is adjourned. But it will be. It will be. I'm a little confused about Udina as well, like... His accent? I'm not sure if he's supposed to be... It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. <clears throat> I, I still Harkin's love the unspecified the time. Den. Just come by later, whenever. No big. Of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. 
couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Yes, sir, Mr. Anderson. All right. Go down this way, talk to this creepy little dude with the keepers. Mr. Chorban. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Yeah, you are. Never mind. Yes, yes, you are. Come back here. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keepers. Don't Liar. get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. <laughs> I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. Yeah, you could. This. It's the scanning device I developed. And I need Activated the each EXP. time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Gracias, señorita. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Thank you. All right. Let's go scan the one we just passed because I will never remember to go back and get him. Tell you, those military uh, requirements for physical activity are probably not very high in the future because, boy, she runs out of breath real quick. Let's see, one, two, three, four, four seconds, and she's huffing and puffing. The struggle is real. I can. Saren's one of their best operatives, so we're natural they tend to his work for hours. Oh, so now we just chase weeds while this smug Turian runs around with his gang of troopers. Yep. That's politics, Jim. I hate politics. All intelligent people hate politics. I'll do whatever I want to the keepers. You don't disturb my research. I've told you before, you're not allowed in here. Alright, I believe. Citadel Tower, Embassies, and CSEC. I don't want to go to either of those. I think I have to fast travel. down to the wards. <laughs> the 
a gentleman's club, but we're a lady. Yeah. guys sting on um, insanity mode we will not be able to just throw caution to the yes, wind Back off, Rex. Biz told us to take you down if you showed up. There's my boy Rex what again. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. But I want to. It's Rex. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Thanks. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Harkin? Have a drink. Let's see where this goes. Maybe later. Suit yourself, princess. You know, if more Marines looked like you, I might have joined the Alliance instead of CSEC. Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. It might be a paragon. I know where Garrus is. You gotta have is. a little sass. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? No. Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 he's a years snake, working of course. cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Messing with our heads. 
Ah, I don't know. Harkin seems like a nice, friendly drunk. Seems kind of harmless. Is that really... You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spent most of my time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? <laughs> Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. Impressed I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Over this random Thanks again. Military woman. And of course, he remembers his face. Oh, Miss Emily Wong. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. It's a big gift, though. I didn't tell anyone, I swear! That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Thanks, Garrus. You were perfectly useless. Appreciate you. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent well, for the Shadow Broker. that's a bad idea. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did the information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. 
The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. And you're yeah, not stopping him at all. Bar. And you're the security? Okay. The Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. All right, to the CSEC Academy. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? Me. I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. We are. We are very busy, sir. So, Garrus, any regrets about leaving CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beat CSEC. True enough. I'd rather be fighting than trust it to somebody else. That elevator music, though. It's straight bumping. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard, I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Me too, my friend. Me too. But before we leave... No 
keepers, so we're just going to go ahead and fast forward back to the den. Get ourselves in a little brawl or two. What's a bar without a little bar fight, right? guys let the Krogan bounty hunter get us Really? Ah. Uh. All right. I cleared that whole area out. You guys just had to deal with the bounty hunter. You didn't do it. One more time. Let's do this.
Can we kill him? Okay, he's dead. Never mind. I thought he was still alive again. I was like, come on, dude. That was the easy part. Stop right there. Don't come too close. me I surrender where's the quarian she's not here I don't know where she is that's the truth lies no use to you now let me kill him wait wait I don't know where the quarian is but I know where you can find her because that makes a lot of sense isn't here said you'd only deal with the shadow broker himself face to face impossible even I was hired through an agent Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location, now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. What are you doing? The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people died because of him? He brought this on himself. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. Just a little. That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. Well, right now, we get to do some more fighting, boys and girls. Give me them credits. Go, boys. I don't think you guys know how to hide behind tables.
Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Of course he's not. He needs a little bit Eden of help. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished! At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel's space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. 
You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Alright, squad. Probably help if we have Rex taking some damage. take that shotgun because that is much better. Take that pistol. Alright, we're all good on gear. To the council. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? No. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I can put in a word with the Embassy and speed things along. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. Alright, so we're going to make a quick trip to the tower. We'll talk to the council. That's probably where we'll stop for the time being. And we'll pick it up a little later this evening. So let's go talk to the people in the tower. You know, a little ivory tower, I should say. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Anderson, I thought we agreed that you were going to stay Eden away. Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? 
There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. I can take Saren down. The Commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No. It's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. You've kind of hardly done anything. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Let us make haste. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up.
bastard didn't even thank you. Until I find Saren, I haven't done anything. Come on. Again, some like goofy red lighting. Yeah, the lighting is still so kind of weird at some points in this game. Oh, well, maybe they'll patch it out. You can even see, like, the overlay of red kind of around her cheekbone. It kind of, at the jaw of her face, it kind of goes away where she's not so red. Interesting. I wonder if it's the makeup overlay. Ah, uh, well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is where we're going to wrap this episode up. This will probably be the first of many videos in the Mass Effect series. Probably going to take 40 or so. I, I mean, an hour and a half. Each game's at least 20 hours. Yeah, probably, probably about 40 videos. But thank you for joining us today. And uh, please like and subscribe. And hopefully we'll get the next episode out to you uh, very shortly. We should pick this back up for those of you following on Twitch tonight. Um, maybe in about... Mm, five or six hours depending on what time the dead by daylight stream gets done thank you guys join us next time